Cari amici di Tom Sardor, benvenuti alla Makers Fair. Siamo qui con Jim St. Ledger di Intel. So Jim, please tell us more about this very special board. So Intel has been involved in the maker community now for several years. We've been sponsors of maker events like Maker Fair in the Bay Area, and we're big sponsors of education. And we believe a board like this can help students learn through the maker movement. And we okay. decided to... So let me translate this. Quindi Intel sponsorizza gli eventi maker da oltre sette anni ormai, iniziato con quelli dell'area della Baia di San Francisco, San Francisco, e adesso prosegue con nuove iniziative. Right. And so we decided to create this board off of a new product we announced at Intel Developer Forum in San Francisco, a processor called Intel Quark X1000. And so we took that processor and we put it inside an Arduino compatible design to allow you to use Arduino shields on top of the board so we can work with the Arduino community and also have Arduino compatible software on top of it. Quindi Intel ha preso il suo nuovo processore Quark Z1000, l'ha inserito in questa scheda e l'ha resa completamente compatibile con la programmazione e Arduino stesso, il chip costruito da il nostro eh, illustre concittadino. Uh, so, the name is Galileo, I think for one time you uh, tribute in Italian for, for a technology innovation. Uh, Why uh, did you make it compatible with Arduino without developing something new for yourself, for example? So we felt it was very important to really be a, a part of the community. We've been very, very careful to not try to go create yet another proprietary solution. So we felt by working with Arduino, we can take the momentum they've created with the makers and the maker community and then just build on top of that success. We also felt that Intel could bring something of value to the maker community to improve the maker experience even more using what Arduino has started and then to bring an Intel solution, system on a chip solution on top of that. Ok, quindi Intel ha ritenuto che fosse inutile o dannoso aggiungere un'altra soluzione proprietaria al mondo dei maker e ha preferito piuttosto sfruttare l'inerzia del movimento di Arduino per creare qualcosa di più, qualcosa di interessante attorno a questo veramente eh, bel progetto italiano. Uh, what's the price and uh, what are the possible implementations? What uh, it adds to the actual, to the current Arduino solutions? Okay. So the price of the board will be somewhere under $60. We want to make sure it's affordable and competitive in the maker marketplace. Some of the things it brings that other solutions haven't been able to bring to the makers so far are things like an ability to run both the Arduino sketches and also full Linux. So you can run any Linux processes or services you want on the board in addition to your Intel sketches. And then of course you can run your Arduino shields on top of that. We've also added a mini PCI Express slot in the bottom of the board so you can add in any PCI Express compatible interface design such as Wi-Fi, graphics or other capabilities like that. And that's something you haven't seen in the maker space so far so we think that's going to be very, very interesting for makers out there. Okay, quindi innanzitutto la potenza del chip Intel si unisce alle classiche programmazioni Arduino, aggiunge la compatibilità Linux, aggiunge una scheda PCI Express in fondo alla board con la quale si possono inserire nuovi elementi come la grafica, il wifi e altro per espandere ulteriormente l'uso di questo prodotto. Il prezzo è sotto i 60 dollari perché deve essere compatibile eh, con tutto il movimento open source economico e accessibile a tutti che è quello dei makers. So, Jim, thanks a lot, congratulations My for pleasure. this new product. My pleasure, thank you. Grazie.